Well, look at the PV. Okay. Oh. Good afternoon, Prairie View Amy University. My name is Austin Haywood III. I am from Humble, Texas, more specifically at Tasker City, Texas. Um, I graduated from Prairie View Amy University um, in 2015 with a bachelor's in uh, architecture and in 2017 with my master's in architecture. My name is Safina Ellie Hayward. I am from Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, East Africa. And I graduated in 2018 with a biology degree, chemistry minor. <laughs> when did we meet and where? April 7th, 2014. I'll never forget it. It was my probate day. Um, I was the quad on my line. I was looking for the quad on every other organization. The, quad the, quad the four. Is. So the line, line number one, two, three, four, and so on, so on. So I was four. I was looking for all the fours and all the other organizations. So I met all the other ones. This was the last one I needed to find. <laughs> so his line brother, who was right before him, I saw him first, and I was like, "Hey, are you the quad?" He's like, "No, look for the dark guy with his shirt off." <laughs> so I was like, "How am I gonna find that?" And then it didn't take long. Two seconds later, dark guy with his shirt off. That was him. And um, I came up to him. I was like, "Hi, are you the four?" He looked at me with a mischievous grin. I'll never forget it. And he was like, yeah, <laughs> gave him a hug, and that was it, basically. Let's put it in short. It's a favorite place to study, you heard him? Study? Yeah, we're gonna do some studying. We're gonna do some studying. You ready? I'm ready. Yes, sir. What is one piece of advice you would give other couples? I would say keep God first. Because honestly, I will be honest too, like my wife made my relationship with God stronger. Not saying I wasn't, you know, a spiritual man before, but um, she was one of those type of women you had to come at correct. You know, you couldn't come at her just any kind of way. Um, she had to know you were definitely you know, a God-fearing man was about something. So definitely keeping God first, number one. I definitely would say communication and trust. Um, sacrifice. You know, my wife has done a lot for our family. Um, as far as, you know, as for me as a husband, her as a wife, and now we have a toddler, you know what I mean, that she has made, you know, so many sacrifices for. So, you know, just sacrificing, you know, your immediate self for your significant other and your family. Um, it's definitely um, three, I would say, incremental pieces to, you know, uh, making this thing work. So. Learn how to love your partner, how they want to be loved. That's a big one, too, because just because you know how you want to be loved, that doesn't mean that that person wants, that's the love that they want to receive. You gotta learn your partner and what they want and what they need and don't be afraid to spoil each other. Because when, when you have your partner and they do everything for you, you do everything for them, why will you not, why not spoil them as they spoil you? It's, and it's not, Contrary to what everyone believes, 50-50 is not it. That's not. Nah, that's, it's that's facts. It's not, though. some days it's 80-20, some days you giving 100 because the other person can't give any at all, some days it's 60-40, it's never 50 That's what I mean by sacrifice. Ever. Right. At the end of the day, <laughs> love is not enough, you have to work through it. You can love that right. person, but if you're not willing to work through it and work through the times when you don't like that person, it's not gonna get anywhere. So that's all my little piece with that. Oh, Ooh. okay. 
I'm gonna just say him. I'm gonna say him. I'm gonna say him. I'm gonna say him. But you had a couple of them. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Yeah. Neil's one of hers. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. How do you think your life would be if you never met me? Honestly, we've been together so long. We've been together since 2014. Honestly, I can't see my life without her at this point. You know, I know that sounds cliche, um, but genuinely, um, we've been through a lot. We've been through a lot together, um, ups as well as the downs. Um, like she said, there's no such thing as a perfect relationship, no such thing as a perfect marriage. But at the same time, you know, likely to an interview, you wouldn't just go in there and just highlight all your bad points and be like, you know, that's not something we developed on. Those moments where it was a rough patch, we've built upon those, we've grown on those. I guess it is safe to say I couldn't see my life without you, honestly. You know that, man. You know that. I might misspell it, though. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> well, you got expensive taste. Okay. Mm, yeah. <laughs> but that is my spot, though. Yeah. Uh, stuff jalapenos, stuff jalapenos uh, the, the, the bacon cheddar potato wedges, yep. Lord. Yep, 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 yep. Who or what do you love more? Me? A PB. Oh. <laughs> Girl, you gotta think about that. <laughs> it's trippy. I love PB because if it wasn't PB, there wouldn't be us. So that's why I thought about that. Not saying who do I love more. I know that. PV, you ain't got to explain that. I know that. I'm just messing with you. Without PV, I wouldn't have met my girlfriend. In 2017, I ended up proposing to my then girlfriend to make her my fiance in the agricultural business building. Um, that day too, you know, even though I knew you were going to say yeah, and I was so nervous that day, even though I knew you were going to say, yeah. I married my wife at Prairie View Man University in the ag business building in the same exact spot that I engaged her in. It was supposed to be outside of ag business. It wasn't supposed to be in the same spot that, we, that I proposed to. It was actually supposed to be outside um, in that little courtyard area in front of ag business. It's a very beautiful glass facade building. And then it just started raining like cats and dogs out there. But thanks to Prairie View University to have it on the inside, ironically in the same spot that I got on the knee. That is honestly the deep, genuine connection we had to Prairie View University.